sick of losing MMR? <laughs> to improve yourself fast and become a better player, you should know your weak and strong sides. Find them out with post-match analysis of each game you played. Play smarter. Try it now at the gosu.ai bot via the link in the description. Very interesting. Oh, okay. I like that better, actually. I think that's way better. Well, in mid lane, you can see Meepo is having a perfectly fine time against Thompson. Uh, very high armor on Meepo at the early levels. 11, in fact. Already at level 3. He's gotten those buffs a couple of times in the past couple patches. DJ trapped in by the trees in the fissure. Sev getting some help there and getting the kill with no tail. Yeah, that means Envy can't get the follow-up kill either, just because there's no uh, secondary shock or anything for that ridiculous amount of burst. Yeah, that means Envy can't get the follow-up kill either, just because there's no uh, secondary shock or anything for that ridiculous amount of burst. He will have a soul ring now too, though, so he is going to have an absolutely ridiculous amount of regen. And the soul ring is sitting on top of uh, the coddle. He just handed it to DJ, who brought it back in the lane with the TP, so they don't have to take the courier away. Mid lane, look at this dive here with that haste of Meepo. And making the plays happen in some trouble. They're bringing in the Earthshaker, but the Too punches late. are going to be there. Now, Seb, maybe in a little bit of trouble himself. They have creeps here as well. They're trying to kill off this Meepo, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. And instead, they bring in the Earthshaker oh. and they go down. Abed will pay for it, but in a way, that's almost okay. Yeah, it's better that he died Yo. like that before Thompson got back. Look at the Meepo's items right now. Yeah. The wave just keeps coming out of the tower, so they don't have to do any sort of cheeky pulls whatsoever, the Nature's Prophet. And now he's going to steal the bounty rune as Pilot Eye goes after there, so that's a very good play. And you will see DJ's been stacking that oh up. God. Oops. Abed. Oh, he had a illusion rune, so just use the poof. But game-wise, things uh, looking better for Fnatic. Is, oh, jeez, Anna. He just got solo from that Fikuchi, and I pulled oh, you no. away from top. <laughs> and of course, they get a double kill. They get a kill. double kill. Oh, Envy baiting him in yet again. And meanwhile, bottom lane, Ana in some trouble, the wave of terror. He's playing it close. I've been killing I'm saying, what's happening? All right. In my defense, Ana went down to 5 HP. So <laughs> right, fair enough. I feel okay with that pull away. Oh, and now Ana is going to end up dying. Everybody's dying on OG. They're all dead. What in the hell? 4,000 gold lead at six minutes in. But if he dies at any given point, I'm sure Envy is ready to walk over towards him. There's a big old creep wave that Envy is chasing. This is a bold move. Oh my As god, that's oh there's so many units. This is, oh my this god. is gonna happen. Oh lordy. Oh this is so much firm. Alright, now suddenly Envy is uh fourteen hundred ahead of the Weaver. Look at these net worths on these heroes. Like Meepo and Bristleback are so farmed. Bristleback uh, you know I'm not as even worried about that, because it's like, you know, what can you do with a really front person back? Once he has Radiance or something, yeah, that's really scary, but at least you can run away from him. Meepo, you can't run away from the Meepo. They're going to go for a play on him now, though, with the dunk. Trying to set up. The Echo Slam is down. They're going to find him, and that should be a kill. They needed it badly, and they make it happen. Yeah, they really did. I Lai Dai also going to be chased down here, but it looks like he will make the escape. So they're going to try and start a fight without Seb showing, and then he'll try and blink onto the Meepo, maybe? Got Ana. Got a lot of damage there. Not quite dead as of yet, but they do burn through the mana of Pylai Die, which means that Eternal Envy left all alone. Right click comes through. They get the extra physical damage out. And Seb's still just hiding. He really wants to bait this Meepo down here. They can't seem to convince uh, Abba to show. It does feel like these couple of kills, though, they're putting a little bit of the wrench in the plans of Fnatic. Uh, I'd be slightly concerned with uh, what's going on here with Abed. We'll get towards that talent next. Bottom lane, hmm. no tail. It's like he will fall. One thing that'll be kind of cool is that Seb could now go in towards the Silver Edge, and so he can blink, dunk, and then activate a Silver Edge, hit the shade, the burst back, assuming that he's also being chain stunned, and then like initiate that break for his team after like, killing the Meepo. Whoa, oh, universe. Time lapse though, the runaway. He does have Sakuchi in a second, but no mana to spend it. Although Abed shows up with a couple. Can they dunk him down? Are they going to be able to find the kill? There's no Echo Slam, but the disarm is there. That is highly necessary. The oh, long Anna. duration. They show up. They're going to find the kill. Oh no, the pinata's popping. Another death. Great play there from OG, and it goes to show the strength of this Deafening Blast. You look at this Meepo, he's fully invested into the right-click build right now. It's not about yeah. poofing people up, and uh, Deafening Blast is amazing against this. Well, he also has just no HP with his item build. I mean, he's still sitting on 1,280, and this Meepo, you don't have the benefits of the extra magic resistance anymore. 
But uh, the other areas of the map, like focusing on these last tier twos, trying to use your Aegis timing at night in an area that is less valuable for OG, so they shouldn't be trying to commit like full defenses. But I think Fnatic should be moving towards, and slowly they are doing that. No tail again, able to find a cut of the creep wave. There was a scan by the Dyer, so they know there are heroes in this area. There is no mad around the area. Down here just as two jacks will scare out DJ. Uh, this is a big play if they can find them. Thompson maybe in a little bit of trouble and Abed throws out the net. Not quite awesome there. They're mana. trying to take down DJ in some trouble. They have the chain frost going back and forth between Fnatic but Thompson TPing away the disarm. They find the kill just barely. Wow, that was really close. That was just two heroes and they almost managed to bring them down on the, both the uh, Coddle and the Meepo. The EMP just doing so much there. And now Pilot Eye is going to find No Tail in the mid lane. Easy swap, leading him towards Universe. And they. Oh, they don't the bugs. Oh, no vision. I thought bugs were there. They were not. Ah, uh, that one hurts. Uh, it's time to party. Time to start uh, getting some tomes on this Lich. Gotta get to level 25. Save the game. The old I ice armor. <laughs> That's the way to be. The blink dagger range with the uh, cast range talent also on DJ here. Pretty nifty. Bottom oh, lane. Yes. They found themselves the Bristleback, just pops his blade mount tops and burning himself to death. But this shows why you can't really kill off this Bristleback, and he's got 26 HP regen per second. Pilot Die kills off Ana in the mid lane. What the hell is that position? And that's time together with Roche. This is the easiest Roche in the world for Fnatic Jerex. Looks like he will make his escape. Bottom lane again. The commencement of the push, as they do have daytime, they've got Aegis Cheese, and they are ready to start beating away at this tier 3 tower. And this is the real question, is Abed just takes down Thompson? Oh no. The, the deaths are so fast, that's 600 health now added to every Meepo. They're going to need two Earth Shakers, but I think they might need two Echo Slams. Not just the Fisher and the Aftershock. And Abed is splitting himself up very wisely here. They throw out one of these Fishers and trying to go for the big, huge wraparound, but Envy is the one that's causing chaos. The huge wraparound coming from OG as they look to initiate onto these heroes, but Universe, he's there to break it. Universe knew. This is the only way that they take this fight, and now Jerex has to TP away. It's not happening. Yeah, the other thing is, like, look where Abed's Meepos are. He's just not bringing them. Yeah. Oh, and now they found themselves the Nature's Prophet. He's going to be taken down as well. No, they just don't have the single target focus. They never went for the Silver Edge. And Seb's still just sitting on 5k gold. All the mana in the world. All the HP in the world. Ana will throw out these Fissures, but it is all for nothing. Envy does not care about what you are doing in this game. I am hitting buildings. They're actually forcing out Ana away from the rest of the team now as Meepo hits the other barracks and Ana in some trouble. They're chasing forward for more here with Universe. They kill off the Lich. They're going to have to buy back on other heroes. The Meepo illusions are moving in. Seb trying to find an opening, but it's not there in time. Oh, he's going to get it. Wait, the jump forward, the dunk. They got him caught. Is it enough damage with the swap out? They get Seb away from his Meepo and Abed living, able to get the E-Blade off. They do finally take him down, but it's only one life. And at the same time, your base. It only costs them every single round. <laughs> to finally get their Echo Slam play. They were just too far ahead, and OG unable to find any sort of a solution to that. So the Mega Creeps come out. Envy is taking literally no damage. <laughs> yeah, he regens a lot. And he has cheese. Look at him, he's just walking at him. I need to stop this man. You think he's going to stop at your fountain? Have you seen Fnatic play Dota? <laughs> it's okay, Jarek is the Midas. We're going, we're getting there. I don't think he can regrow the barracks, but he can heal the tier fours. All right, everybody's running in. Meanwhile, though, they found the sheep here onto the Nature's Prophet universe. BKB popped, taking the kill. Seb as his foray into the Radiant side of the map. He gets clipped as well. Oh, he's just stuck up here. And Envy can keep on hitting the quills. Seb doesn't have an answer. He doesn't have blink. Oh, he didn't get the blink off, and he's going to be punished. Oh, no. It's a fitting way to end this game. It really is. And there's the Hex that comes out. Fnatic, not bothering with the chat wheel. They're just going to take your buildings as the Chain Frost not going to do enough. BKB Ana turns into Avenge, but eventually they will be pushed back yet again. There's going to be the switch over. Thompson wanting to make a play, if at all possible. They drop down the Meteor. Everything, in fact, is Seb. It's also going to turn back onto DJ. BKB out there doing a lot of damage. The Courier even is going to fall. Oh, GG. GG. Take that.
as they take them down over and over. Universe, I mean, there's like seven battles going on simultaneously, and the creeps are just taking down the tier three towers, tier four towers. Echo Slam, one last hurrah Back from up. them. They want to take them down the Echo Slam and Jamma. They're feeling themselves for a moment. Ah, oh, they might finally go down, but yeah, the GG's there as the creeps eventually take the building. The neck. Back in there with the Meepo back in to the winner's circle. That's right. As they will get themselves a 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 Lots of those. I feel like every time I look at a group stage game, I say, oh, I wonder what the result was from that match. Oh, yeah. 1 1.